Malcolm. Hey, how you doing, sir? Good, man. How are you? I know you made it down to the game in the preseason down there. Yeah, I was really excited about that, man. And, you know, for a long time, I had just, you know, just, just dreamed of one day actually getting to, to see the 49ers actually play in person. You know, most people, they don't really get excited at the preseason game, but I was like, man, this is still gold for me. And I've been following the 49ers, man, since I was a kid, man. Ever since back with the Joe Montana, the Tom Rathman, the John Taylors, the Ronnie Lott, you know, everybody. Anybody everybody. else? Anybody anybody else on that list? (laughs) Hey, listen, so... So I'm talking to, uh, to to Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch the other day, and so and so we we get to talking about you a little bit, and and they like, hey man, let's 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 get Malcolm out here, man. How do we get him out here? And so I just want to check in with you and see and what you're doing on December 16th. And I tell you what, if you want to be out there on December 16th, that's what I'm doing. Now I got one little beef with you. Now you went down your list of guys. Okay. And I think you hit all them offensive guys. But where is, is Keena Turner on your list? Man, come on, man. I gotta have Keena on there for sure. Because, man, he was a killer out there. Yeah, now we're talking. That was, that was, I appreciate that, Malcolm. I knew, I knew we'd be able to clean that up. And listen, man, I never introduced myself. Uh, this is Keena, man. This is Keena Turner. And, uh... Oh, man. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Just talking to you is, is an honor for me in itself. So, to, to really get out there, man. <laughs> Thank you, man. All right. Oh, man. All right. It's beautiful out here. I came out, I was like, wow. We really are in California. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. deal right there. <laughs> what up, man? That's me. Great to see you, man. Hey, how you doing, man? <laughs> man, hey, man, I appreciate y'all having me, man. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> This is where the magic begins. <laughs> I see you reach for the biggest one. No, I'm like, man, my head must have looked really big. Model, model, <laughs> I'd be able to say that I actually walked on the field, man. <laughs> they can't tell me I didn't, bro. Like, I walked on the field, man. <laughs> At 17 years old, uh, I got uh, charged and convicted of uh, first degree murder. Uh, they sentenced me to life plus 175 years. It was, it was, it was difficult, you know, uh, but finally, like uh, maybe 2009, uh, I got a, a, a letter from a guy named Eric Cullen, who was an investigator. But the dude took a chance on us, didn't charge us a dime, did a, a, a hell of an investigative work, man. He met a witness and uh, he had sit down and talk with this guy. He was one of the witnesses, you know what I'm saying, that had originally gave a false testimony on us and did a video, you know what I mean, stuff. Confession was telling them about how the DA had basically pressured them into, you know, saying these things just so they can get off on their cases. And so in 2011 is when the Innocence Project, you know what I'm saying, came in to, to help us and then finally, at the end, that last last guy, the guy who had accident, he was on death row, and, and they're about to execute him in January. This is like close. So we're on the edge, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, at this point, I'm like, man, God, what's going on, man? <laughs> Tell me something. So it was like, when he finally came forward with the confession, you know what I'm saying? He sat down in an interview with the Innocence Project, told him exactly, you know what I'm saying, how it went down told them where all the rest of the evidence, everything was at. 
Ooh, I have some really good, strong family. I got 12 brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? This is one of them. This is my little brother. This is my little brother, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But they was out there, man. I remember times when he was little. You know what I'm saying? And my mom would send me letters before he could even really do too much. Wrote in crayon, you know. We miss you. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Don't never give up, man. Keep believing. Keep believing. It's just the simple things in life now that really, like, are really big to me now. So it's like any opportunities that I get to this extreme, <laughs> it's emotional. I told them boys, I said, look, man, one of these days, y'all gonna see me at the game. You know what I'm saying?